don't, you're saying, though, that gender is yes. a personal feeling or belief that somebody has about their existence. Uh, Regardless, yes, w within gender, there's got some it, things so, that the they moral, don't, like the, being the, an animal or the, being 90. Right, but the moral premise of that is that your biology, your chromosomes, do not dictate your reality, correct? I don't know. Do I have to know the answer to that in order to honor the fact that somebody else believes that they are let, choosing let, let to be a woman? Let me tell you why and what I believe. Do, you, do I have to agree with that? Well, not a matter of agreeing. In order to be able to identify gender. You can gender. have whatever opinion you want. But the truth is what I'm trying to articulate. It doesn't matter what you believe. Somebody is born a man. They don't stop being a man if they appropriate womanhood. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. So, they're going to check it out. Charlie Kirk crushes woke pro trans feminist leftists. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I, I call it Charlie Kick because I love kicking ass. Let's go right to today's video. Hi, I'm a liberal, I'm Democrat voting, I'm uh, very uh, strong in my beliefs about uh, a certain st set, I have a very strong belief in a certain set of principles. Um, I probably disagree with a lot of your principles. I disagree with conservatism. And uh, usually right-wing conservative beliefs. Okay. The reason I'm here tonight is my son is very right-wing conservative. You have a very smart son. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he doesn't drink. <laughs> He's only 20. Watch it. Um, and the reason that I'm here is because I raised him to believe and think for himself, to look at both sides and come up with his own opinion. And he kind of didn't come up with Bernie, okay, I can live with that, but I absolutely stand behind his right to think what Good. he is free to think. And I don't need to break windows. That's not a model for what I believe in liberalism. There's a lot of liberals who are very upset about that. Good. So my question to you is, in my sense of accepting and loving my son, it's different, he's my family. I also believe, for, for example, one example is LGBTQ adults, not trans kids, I'm going to get that argument, but LGBTQ adults who are happily in relationships and married, who are behind what they believe in, and it doesn't necessarily coincide with the Bible, it doesn't coincide with two genders. I believe that people have the freedom to express themselves and they don't want to be in two genders. They have a different point of view okay. because they looked at both sides. Well, they came up and they have the freedom to believe what they want. So, so what's how the question? do you, yeah. your, my question to you is how in your belief of two genders do you accept people who don't believe that? Well, yeah, I just asked the question. I would ask it of you. What is a woman? Um, for me personally, I am a woman. And I believe no, but that... But what is that? Don't, don't answer the question with the question, like, what is the vocab term woman? Define it. Um, that I align myself as a mother and uh, what the women in my life and the uh, feminine values of being... Uh, uh, more relationship-oriented, less competitive, mothering, caring about someone ahead of myself. So those are values that I, feminist values that I believe in, and I believe I can be a woman. I don't have, uh, I wasn't born with a male body, but I believe that I am a woman based on feminine principles. Those, uh, like, so those, under, and, and those and other Under your principles. view, somebody can choose to be what they want to be. Yes. Okay, can I be a bobcat? 
Well, and more than that argument, I want to get more into your belief. No, no, this is important. Let me, let me ask you another question. Can oh, okay. I be whatever age I want to be? Um, the, the response to that really is not exactly what my question's about. Well, you're asking about my view on the LGBT, and I'm getting there. I'm just trying to understand. Or, and as an example, people who don't believe that there are two genders, just in general, no, I know. who are disagreeing with you. And you are one of those people, so I'm trying to get to some form of understanding and clarity. Okay. So do you think that having agreed upon objective reality on age is important? Yeah, but that's not within the concept of gender. Well, but why, why is that different? Why, is, why does reality stop when gender gets discussed? Because I'm not thinking about people of different ages. Why not? So, well, if a 30-year-old thinks he's 14, he should be able to have, be able to have sex with a 12-year-old, right? Um, no, this is more about gender. Well, that no, no, I hold feel, on. Well, but I have a limit, but gender to... is, gender is a, what, why? Where does that limit come from? And, why do you believe in the limit for age, but not for biology? Um, because I feel that gender is an, is an aspect of somebody they can believe in being able to be in one, more than one gender. I don't believe that age falls into that. I believe this is more about a gender that people are right, able to don't choose. You, don't, you're saying, though, that gender is yes. a personal feeling or belief that somebody has about their existence. Uh, regardless yes, within gender there's got some it, things so, that the they moral, don't like the, being the, an animal or the, being 90. right but the moral premise of that is that your biology your chromosomes do not dictate your reality correct I don't know do I have to know the answer to that in order to honor the fact that somebody else believes that they are let, choosing let, let to be a woman let me tell you why and what I believe do, you, do I have to agree with that well not a matter of agreeing in order to be able to identify you gender. can have whatever opinion you want but the truth is what I'm trying to articulate. It doesn't matter what you believe. Somebody is born a man, they don't stop being a man Straits. if they appropriate womanhood. If I wore blackface right now, I don't become black. If a man decides to all of a sudden dress in a dress, he doesn't become a woman, nor should I for you force other people to reaccommodate society. If they want to think that in their private time or in their own mind, it's kind of weird and strange, I guess, go ahead and do it. But that's not the debate we're having in America right mm. now. The debate we're having, and I'd love your final thoughts on this, is a biological man is able to compete against biological women in NCAA sports and win the national championship in swimming. Do you yeah. think that's fair? I, I don't think that. That's not part of my personal beliefs. Um, okay, so let's maybe just go for gay and lesbian couples who are successful. I mean, just because I really want to know the answer, and I kind of know where that's headed, and I don't agree about men playing in women's sports or... Hey, we agree on that. So Yeah, so you I agree with that. You understand that the liberals that you identify with call you a bigot for that belief, right? Not the liberals that are my friends, and not all liberals believe that. Yeah, that's shocking. I'd love to meet them. So, um... Secondly, though, yeah. on the other part, as they're, far as... They're all in but, their 60s, but let me, but, <laughs> that, my friends. <laughs> on the LGBT thing, and I want to get to as many questions as possible. Yeah. What does somebody's own personal sexual orientation have to do with lumping in a bunch of letters with somebody that is suffering from gender dysphoria? Those are two separate issues. Don't you think we should yeah. divide them? No, I think that, that there are people who have healthy... Uh, homosexual relationships who identify that way who aren't in favor of no, no, some no. of the you, gender you misunderstood problems. the question what I'm trying to say is that for a while it was gay activism and now it's LGBTQIA plus it just keeps on growing mm. and this right. kind of social contagion of um, of left-wing activism let me just uh, let me just tell you my position very okay. clearly okay everybody's made in the image of God that's my first that's my moral my first premise we all have a soul you could disagree at that. The American founders believed every single human being had a soul, and that is a fact. I believe that marriage is an institution and a tradition that should be between one man and one woman. Marriage, the, in an ideal world, the state would have a limited role in that, but I don't believe that diluting or destroying the institution of marriage or the vocabulary or the truth behind it does it any justice for anybody. Hmm. And you must understand what a word means and what is the purpose of that word. And having been married, I can understand 
that marriage is about opposites getting along to do something bigger than themselves. The big issue in the gay marriage debate, and some conservatives disagree, is that you don't have two opposites. You have two alikes that are coming, two people that are alike coming yeah. together. Yeah. That's not what marriage is. You could call it something else, that's not marriage. In fact, I think it actually destroys and diminishes the beautiful institution of <sighs> Wow. As far as the, the, the woman was actually making sense, about talking about her son, that her son is a conservative, then she just flipped. That conversation just did not make any sense again when she started entering into transgenderism and making, um, supporting people because they believe. You know, she's a liberal. So the entire conversation was not getting more awkward. I, I was, I was kind of happy for her that her son was a conservative and she just came out to speak because of her son. So, wow, what's, what, what's an amazing model? Then everything just turned around. Then she started, she can't even define what a woman is properly without stumbling. It's, 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 it's terrible, like the kind of world or the generation we are in now. And the lady should be now 50 or going to sisters or probably sister something. Um, she started that conversation very pretty, pretty, really, really nice. But at the same time, her, her, she go by what people feel. You understand? You, you see, whenever, whenever it comes to all these liberals and also all these um, LGBTQ plus transgenders, they, they just feel like we owe them something. Like, if they feel like to be this, we should all accept it. I owe no one anything. Nobody. I owe you nothing. If I see you as a female, I call you a female. If you tell me I'm not pronouncing your gender properly, or how what you identify as, so that's not my business. It's as simple as that. So the, the woman right there, Charlie was like, if you feel like we can change our gender, why can't we change our age? Because once we accept the entire world, the entire globe accepts this transgender everything, um, I identify as this, my gender is this, um, I'm non-binary, I'm cisgender. Once the entire world accepts that narrative, then we start accepting the aspect of age. If someone say he's 14, we should accept it like that. A 50 years old man say he's 14 years and go sleep with a 12 years old girl, that's all right. Can you see how it makes no sense? That is exactly how people who are saying we should accept this, I identify as this, I identify as that. It makes no sense. Because once we accept that narrative, we, we keep on accepting every single thing, every single trash that's coming from these laborers and also from this um, trans pro-trans people. It makes no sense. Logically, it makes no sense. You see, America is going, I will say, I, I, I have no right to use the word they're going far away from God. You understand? Because I don't know everyone's mind. But the way we are accepting this new narrative, new, this this aspect of transgender, the LGBTQ plus that have no ending, uh, 100 genders, it's, it's taking us to some way that we, are, we definitely regret going to. Because this is getting worse every single day. Every single time I check out Charlie Cake videos, it's just getting worse. Their, their, their community is growing more. Like, it's expanding. And it's, it's, it's a very terrible mentality terrible mindset that they're having about this I identify as this don't change my pronouns it's very very terrible then they, they are not forcing everyone to comply how dare you not use my right pronoun like it makes no sense to me guys how they are they are, they are putting us in that shoe that we have to to do things that will, that, will, that will make their feet better I own no one any explanation I own no one no apology for calling you how I see you as a woman that identifies as a female. If you say that is not your gender, then get the fuck out of my sight. It's as simple as that. Sorry I'm using the earth word, but it's it's very, very annoying to see that this woman right here who is matured like this and well grown up and I've seen a lot in life because I'm sure she has seen a lot. By her age, I'm sure she has seen a lot. Coming out to talk about this pro trans. She's a feminist and she's gonna talk about pro trans which allow them be who they want to be. Who the I love how Charlie um, answered her. It's, it's as simple as that. I love how he 
dismantle her and put her straight. You observe that her first conversation was getting mixed. When she started, her start, starting conversation was meaningful, but when she was going was was extreme. It was, it was out of the line. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I got scales on.